Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Nob Bruntley Nerevering. Welcome back to the adventures of Nob Bruntley uh, Nerevering. Uh, you're probably wondering why there hasn't been an episode for a while. To put it bluntly, I've been very busy. Uh, so we, we've obviously been doing CK3 stuff, which has been uh, basically my main focus for a little while. Then we ended the RimWorld series and I started the RimWorld 1.2 mod pack. That series went to shit and then I had to start a new mod pack to save our shit went very, very quickly. Do the little intro for that. You know, the stuff that I normally do. Then the second we finished that, the CK3 original series finished. So now I've had to throw together very quickly a new mod pack for CK3, get all that ready and up together. It's been a nightmare. Anyway, here's Noel Brentley. Back at last. Everybody wants me to talk yes, to Talon, uh, sorry, Wolf himself. Uh, at the ghost gate. I did know that this guy was Tyber kind of Septim. Uh, that's why I made a big song and dance at the end of last episode, but I don't think I made enough a big enough song and dance about it. I'm Wolf. Like I said, basically an aspect of, of, of Talos rather than anything else. Like I said, I was wondering what you were doing at the the ghost gate. It's a hell of a place. Why are you here? I'm the Nereverine, and I go to confront Dagotha in his citadel. What a piece of luck. Look, I'm an old Legion veteran, as old as the poor old Emperor. Bless his soul. I'm too old for campaigning. I came this far to look at hell, but I can't go any farther than this. I take it I take it kind of if you carry this old lucky coin with you when you go to Dagotha, some sort of token of the tough young hero I used to be. Would you be able to do that for me? I'll take your lucky old coin to Dagotha with me. That's very kind of you. Here's the coin. I've had it with me some time and I've always bought me some luck, but I have no more use for it. And I'd like to pass it on to somebody younger. Somebody going places I can't anymore. Your generation shape your generation shape of history, an engine of destiny. That coin will bring you luck on the mountain, I promise. For the Empire and the Emperor, as we say in the Legion, go with Kinnereth. Well, some strange old man gave us his lucky coin. What could that possibly mean? Uh, you've gained a new power. Luck of the Emperor. Uh, what does that do? Luck of the Emperor. Luck of the Emperor. La 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 la. Somewhere. Luck of the Emperor. Oh, is it a power power? Uh, like a... Shit, I have no idea. Luck of the, luck of the Emperor. Something's fortifying luck and I don't know what it is. Uh... <laughs> oh man's lucky coin. Eat the coin. Uh, power. Hang on. There it is. Fortify luck for 20 seconds. Oh, that's actually quite good, isn't it? Thank you. So, what do we have to do right now? Uh, I must go to the Red Mountain. Recover the artifact's hammer, Sunder, from the Great Citadel Vem Vemyal. Okay. Gate Citadel Vemyal and the Artifact Blade Keening from the Gate Citadel Odrasel. Then with these artifacts in Wrathguard, if I destroy the enchantments on the Heart of Lorcan, Dagotha will be destroyed. We are officially on the last quest of the game. So, let's get to work then, huh? We do have Wrathguard. It's on our hand right now. Let's get out there. Wooden door to the Ghost Gate, and in we go. So I don't remember where the Gate Citadels are. They are the Dwemer Ruins from what I remember. Um, and we have to go in and fight the Ash Vampires, basically, uh, to... Wait, is it this Is it this switch? This switch. There we are. That's better. Um, and we're going in here to fight the Ash Vampires. The, obviously, the, the, the members of House Dagoth. The higher members of House Dagoth. To get the other tools of Kagranek. I don't know whether we'll get it all done today. As I recall, these Citadels themselves are actually pretty small. Um, and it, it, it gets even easier when we, can, when we can fly. So, let's get to it. I don't know why I'm keeping my distance from these guys. Bearing in mind that we can, we're, we're immune. Right, let's take a look around, see what we can see what we can dig up here. See, there's one there. There's one there. But I don't remember. Oh, hello, you're new, I think. Oh no. You're one of those horrible faces, boys, again. Bloody cliff races everywhere, too. Why can you have been killed by the blight, huh? Apparently he's very angry. Still has to deal with this shit. Right, here we go. Oh for god. Get out of here! <laughs> job. Oh for fuck's sake, please, job, help me. Right. Let's take out oh, there's a hunger over there. Take a bit of a bit of a jump. We're going to make that. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. No, we're falling. Todd Howard, for fuck's sake. Okay, well, let's jump back down and try that one again. I think we can make it. I've just got to be a bit more... Maybe a little bit from a higher position. Let's jump on this rock, see if we can make it from there. All right, here we go. Watch this. Oh! Yeah, that's better. Should have just gone straight forward rather than diverting off. Right, so what were they called again? Um, My journal. Looking for... Vem, Veminal, Veminal, and Odrasol. Veminal and Ost Odrasol. We've got uh, Dwemer Training Academy. That's not quite right. We're going to have a look around, huh? 
There's not much left to the game now. Besides, obviously, we've got to do the tribunal stuff still. The kind of post-game um, explanation of what the hell is going on outside of the story. Let's have a look. Dwemer training ground. Hello, Dwemer. You don't look like a Dwemer. You look like a bloody golden saint. Hang on a minute. Aha, I have no idea. These things are always a pain in the ass for me to try and summon. So we'll, um... Hello. Oh, I thought that that was an Ash Vampire that this bloody saint killed then. That would have been cool. Right, let's get to it. What's that shield you've got? It's just an ebony shield, I think. Okay, let's be careful we don't get poisoned or frozen by their reflect magic. I think we already have been poisoned, actually, judging by our health going down. Okay, good shit. There we are. What have you got for me? Uh, Golden Saint. Yeah, that was an ebony shield. How much is it worth? 17,000, another 17,000. Not probably needs no more armor. No, no more gold. Sorry, I should say. We're doing pretty well in, with regards to... Oh, with regards to gold, I think. Is that all there was to this place? Just a golden saint in a room? It's a bit strange. What the hell was this for? It was weird little Dwemer. It's kind of some of these in um, in Solstheim in, in Skyrim. Um, you get like weird little runes like this. Like the, like the Dwemer Arena is one of them. There's uh, another day trip there. Oh! There's a bloody Ash Vampire in here. I don't think we've fought one of these before, have we? So these are the, the proper tough enemies of House Dagoth. And you can quite clearly see that from the fact that they are absolute bullet sponges. Just keep the keep the paralyzed going. Our weapon is very weak, and it's almost out of charge as well. We might have to go and get it repaired at some point. Well, there we go. Who was he? Dagoth Odros had the key, the amulet of whoa! Look at that amulet of heart fire. It's insane. Uh, sixth house amulet. They're always good, and some ash salts. What have you got for what? Are, what are ash salts? We can't eat those, can we? Are those from Stormatronax? They are... I can't remember what they're called now, the salts that Stormatronax drop. Right, let's get through some of these rooms then. Uh, oh, that's a lot now. Oh, because we've got the key, of course. Nice. Um, some corpus meat again. Got in here. Do I cure us? Fortify agility. We might as well take all the potions. Get to the end of the game. It actually might genuinely save our life at some stage. Uh, emeralds and... Do I have a jinx sword? Bit pointless. The coins are quite nice. It's just free money. I'll just sell tower. Okay. And this takes us back to the entrance, I assume. So much cool gear. It's a shame the Dwemer stuff isn't better, because it looks really awesome. Um, right, how do we get up there? I mean, I know how we could get up there, but we we, we can't right now. Um, let's go up the tower, see what's up here then. Oh. <gasps> is that Keening, I see? It bloody is. Oh, well, that was convenient. And the Citadel Odra Cellar discovered one of the artifact played Keening. Oh, incredible. Um... Skinning long blade. Short blade. Oh, no. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do with this. We can only equip it because we've got Wrathguard, bear in mind. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we can't do much with this one. Bloody hell, that attacks fast, though. What damage does it do? God, the damage is shit. Oh, but look at that. Co constant effect. Fortify Magicka. 50 points health. 50 points attack. 50 points. Wow. Sweet Jesus. What does it mean, fortify attack? Maybe it is better than the spear because of that alone. I mean, it's also keening, so let's... It's one of the tools of Kagranet. You've got to, you've got to use it, right? What's up there? Is it just a flamey, flamey fella? Okay, well, let's teleport up there or levitate up there. Let's see what he's got. Hello, I want to test my new sword out on you, friend. Oh, it's actually quite good. It's a shame I haven't got more experience in, in short blade. Because I would absolutely make this our primary weapon. Because I think it's awesome to use the the tools of Kagranet as kind of your main, your main setup. Um, oh, that would do. I might genuinely go and track down a trainer in short blade because i think it would just be i think it would just be awesome to use use keening at this point oh for god's sake look at these boys right take them out i mean the damage is already significant isn't it holy shit man i'm actually surprised we're able to hit so well with it god it's so fast <laughs> that's insane okay i definitely want to use this as our weapon then um well, let's go and find a short blade trainer. I'm going to very quickly Google it. Um, I don't remember. I, I, I remember the Nord um, on the on the fields by oh, north of Balmora, that city, where the Orcs are. I don't know what it's called. Caldera? Um, somewhere around there, there's that, that Nord, isn't there? Um, short blade trainer. Morrowind. Accidentally came across this one. I, I thought this was just a random place we had to explore. Uh, Balmora in the Lucky Lockup. There's a guy called Todd Wendy. Um, oh, sorry, a lady called Todd Wendy. Master Trainer and Short Blade. Oh, cool. Okay. 
Forgive me. Uh, end of the world. I'll be back later. We've got places to go. Balmora. Yeah, so if we go... Um, Amphibian Intervention. That'll take us back to Aldrun. I think. Uh, yep, that'll do it. Then from Aldrun, we can take the Silt Strider home. Cool. I always thought it'd be kind of interesting at this stage of the game if, if like, the cities started to get overran. It really doesn't feel like there's much sense of urgency. You know, even now, we can... We can just do whatever we want. Even though we've got Keening, you know, we can go get Keening and Sunder. We can never go and see Dagothar and just keep playing the game. It never feels like there's really much of a looming end of the world threat. The only way they've really done it is with the occasional dreamers that walk up to you and say things. That's one thing Oblivion, I will admit, did slightly better. Um, South Wall Corner Club. Where the bloody hell's the lucky lockup? Oh, is it over this side? Is it? Is it like uh, one of these? Outfitter, pawnbroker, lucky lockup. Ah, oh, shit. It was the first pub. Yeah, they never really felt there was much sense of urgency, did there in this? Um, right, in we go. Lucky lockup. We're looking for a red guard Anything lady. I can do for you? Uh, somewhere. Is she upstairs? Yes. What I remember? Uh, here you are. What can I do for you, not Brantley? Well, first, I'm going to throw you a thousand gold for not moving around. Stay oh, she doesn't. Like Thank God for that. It would be a wow, she's a master trainer. So we could be here for quite some time. Oh, after a significant amount of leveling up hit later, we are back. We only got up to 71 short blade as far as I... Uh, sorry, 67 short blade because our governing skill is still quite low. I assume then this might be where... Is that a person? Hello? That's a person, right? I'm not going crazy here. Oh, that's not a person. That's a corpus monster. Horrible. Get out of here. Um, I assume the other gatehouse is, is that one there that we can see over the over the hill. Excuse me. Will you sod off? I will admit, Keeling's probably not as good as the, the spear of her scene. Um, but it is cooler. So that's that's all the reasoning I need, to be honest with you. Right, let's go and take a look. And let me know Degather is right at the pinnacle. Oh, hang on. There's uh, two different Dwemer... Cities here? Hard to tell. Let's go and have a look. Get out of here. Fucking cliff races, honestly. Good lord, as if there's not enough going on right now. Although, to be fair, there was more bloody bears on Solstheim than there are cliff races in Vardenfell, so... Every cloud. Right, get out of here. Are we free? We're free. Right, let's go and have a look around then, see what we can find. Excuse me. Have you people seen a magical hammer? With the power to, uh, bring about the apocalypse? Asking for a friend? I'm not, I'm not collector any. I'm a collector of antiques. That's it. Yeah. Uh, just one more for the set. Fetch a fortune at auction. I wonder if there's any cool mods for Skyrim that adds the uh, tools of Kagranak. I think you can get Keening, actually, can't you? In one of the Mage Guild quests? I think somebody... I think one of the other students asked you to, like, pick it up for them or something weird like that. Anyway, um... Get out of the way. I hope this is the right place. Because the last sit-down name didn't exactly line up. Kaganak study, that sounds about right. Hello. Oh, a Daedra. Oh, God, yeah. Keening seems to be a little worse here. Oh, dear. Yeah, this isn't nearly as good, is it? I may have made a mistake. Back to the spear, then. Oh, dear. Well. Well. <laughs> oh, my God. Something's doing a lot of damage. Is that the ash? Oh, did we just die? Oh no, we're almost dying. Um, I think that's the ash vampire. Give me a couple of, couple of healths. Oh, it's a bloody Daedroth, really? A regular old Daedroth did that much damage. Oh, fucking reflect. I think the poison's gonna kill it, to be fair. Well, should've stopped with Keening, huh? Learn my lesson. Right, oh, careful. Turns out these things are just tough as nails. They really are. I feel like I've done something the wrong here. Strength is fine. Um, is it my spear? Is it almost broken? Oh, yeah. The spear is in bloody tatters. Um, excuse me. Right, are we good? Let's go ahead and get the spear repaired. If we can. It's a master armor hammer. Oh, God, really? Shit. Completely unprepared for this fight then, huh? Should do a slight bit more damage now. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Much better. Nice. Okay, I'll be taking your Daedric Mace. Why not? We might have to go get some supplies before we fight Dagothur himself. Back down we go. Hello. You're hideous. Dirty tentacle beast. Right. Uh, you haven't seen a fancy hammer, have you, tentacle beast? And he's done. Okay, what have we got here? Skellington with the Nordic broadsword. Um, Dagoth Gorel had a sixth house amulet. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, some Dwemer machinery, I guess. Some Dwemer machinery crap. Right, up we go. 
Hello. Oh. Feel like I've already been here. Hello. Uh. Oh. Was he a friend? I don't think he was a friend. <laughs> I got a feeling he probably wasn't a friend. I think we stunned that guy before he could even react. Oh, is that another armor hammer there? Okay, never mind. We might not have to leave. Come on. Uh, what is it? Apprentice. Oh, it's not fantastic, but it'll do. Oh, exquisite belt. And a big hand. Oh, it's clearly parts for Numidium, isn't it? They're building the other parts. Interesting. Okay. Dagoth Mendras. Take your amulets. They're worth a fortune. Yeah, look. You can kind of see the various different components here. That's quite cool. Heavy Dwemer desk. I'm looking for repair hammers, Mr. Dwemer. What have you got in here? Keep a lot more around. Bear in mind they're Dwemer. Oh, is that the head of it? Oh, that's cool. They're just building giant automatons. Right, let's go ahead and get a bit more repair done. Come on. Should have raised our repair skill. Jesus. Um, let's go repair hammer. There we go. Oh, now we're going to hit like a truck compared to what we were using before. Right, down we go, I guess. Oh, is this a trap? Oh, hello. Dagoth, big boy. Who are you? Oh, God, he's getting annihilated. Terrible, that's who he was. Um, Dagoth Endus. I mean, look, heart rhyme. Wow. Give me all of this stuff. At least the artifacts in Morrowind kind of feel cool as well, don't they? Even if they're a bit pointless. Okay, knowledge of illusion. Kragonite's journal. I think we'll take that with us. But again, fetch a fortune at auction. Same with that mortar and pestle. Grandmaster's calculator. Ooh, that was heavy. We don't want to carry too many of those. We need broadsword. Iron mace. The firmament. Glass boots. I oh, will take that. Why not? Um, we're going to be going back to probably get our stuff repaired anyway. So that's all right. Um, disease resistance, fortify speed, or Dwemer crap, or like goblets. This one didn't even have a, um, this one didn't even have a, uh, a key or anything. Dwemer centurion plans, nice. Gusta Kavata Kavakis, and then a book. Ooh, a tasty heart. Mm. <laughs> Love the fact you can just eat absolutely anything in this. Right, Dagoth Endus, I feel like you weren't the person I was here for then, my friend. Let's try this way. I think it's the same room, isn't it? It is. Right. We've gone through Kagranak's study. Found absolutely nothing of value. I hope I haven't just missed the hammer. I don't know if it was in a drawer or something. Right. Onwards. Um, let's use these repair tongs again. Let's very quickly get this bashed out. Oh, look at that. That's really great value. Okay. Um, we'll do one more quick look around. See if we can get Sunder before we get out of here. But I want to go back to the tower, drop off our stuff, get some repair hammers. Really come back prepared to take on Dagoth. Uh, suck if we fell at the last hurdle, right? Right, let's head in. So we've cleared that one out. We'll keep heading upwards then. I think up here, though, is Dagoth. Dagoth Ur, like the, the Citadel. And the man, I guess, by extent. Uh, yeah, this is Dagoth Ur, so this is not the right one. Um, okay. <gasps> Don't fall in. Full of evil magic. Let's try it this way, I guess. Um, let's check out the world map. Oh, look. Odrasel, Ghost Gate, Degatha. Ve Vem Veminyal. Oh, that's the one we're supposed to be going to. There's another one over here, though. Weird. There's loads of Dwemer. I, I knew there were loads of Dwemer ruins kind of around. Be interested to know what in some of the others are, then. Is it just going to be more kind of ash vampires? The, the big ashy boys? All right, excuse me, can I? Fuck. Oh, get out of here. Come on. I just want to rest. Please, I just want to put up camp. Ow! Where's that other one gone? Come on, little corporate zombie. Oh, for God's sake, they're chasing me from across the bloody map. All right, go. Am I free? There we go. Put up a put up a little tent. Rest for the night. Fantastic. All right, over we go. So we know there's one kind of vaguely in this direction, apparently right below us. Uh, there it is. Let's just check whether or not Sunder's in here. I think we know where Sunder is, but we might as well have a look around, see if there's anything else of, of value. Kagranax Library. Oh, hello. Well, that sounds... It's fun just to explore Dwemer runes, because I think the Dwemer are one of the more appealing races from... Uh, from, from Elder Scrolls, to be honest with you. Like, a really cool idea behind it. I really wouldn't be surprised if they get their own game in the future. Oh, it's another... Another large man. Hello. <laughs> wow. That's a power stance, all right. Holy shit, what a guy. What have we got in here? Books. Oh. Let me guess, this guy's Dagoth ner Nerd. Dagoth Turinal. He has a key, though. That's always a good sign. 
Take care of your crap. Oh, we're almost encumbered here. Be careful. Parchments with scrawling. All cries awaking. White is white of all white. Black is black of all blacks. Shame and sun. Sun and shadow. Stronger than the gods. Brighter than mortals. That would be a good black metal song. Someone remind me of that at some point. Right, what are we, what are we looking at here? Garbage, garbage, gar- Ooh. <gasps> Medium armor skill. Just what I didn't want. I've only mole crab hammer. That's disgusting. Some more... Good god, look at all those skill books kicking around. Chronicles of Nazelft. Man. Lessons of Vivek. Holy shit, we're getting so many lessons. Kagonex plan book. That seems pretty vital. Uh, what do I get the feeling? These are all part of like a quest or something. It's got to be like part of a part of a quest from the Mages Guild or something. You know, go find all of Kagrenek's journals. All right, what else we got here? Any other books of value? Doesn't look like it. Uh, what was that? Probably papers of buoyant armager. Okay, we'll take that with us. Either low value or high value is the ultimate guide to collecting crap, isn't it? Book useful books in Skyrim or or Oblivion. That's the Bladder of Clovis. Excuse me. Uh, let's go into Clovis's bladder. Are you Clovis? I'm. Uh, it's okay, I'm here. I'm a trained medical professional. Oh, dear. Oh, I've seen enough hentai to... Well, you know the joke. Uh, right, what are we looking at here? Clovis? Cleaver of St. Felms. I'll be taking that. Oh, dear, we're over-encumbered. We're slightly over-encumbered. Uh, I don't think we're going to need the Grandmaster's Calculator. Fucking hell, that bloody thing was heavy, whatever I just picked up. Shit. Well, you know what? Let's go for a quick uh, supply run. This isn't right. This isn't my tower. Ah, oh, shit. Business as usual at Tower Telvani. That's what I like to see. Right, okay. Good God. I had to drop the, uh... I had to throw the clover on the floor because it was literally too heavy, so I'm going to have to go back for that in a minute. Um, right, here we go. Ah, stuff for you, my friend. Bring the... I don't think we need all this garbage, do we? Bloody hope not. Turn up and take authority. It's like, no, hold. You must present the sign that you are the refereeing. Oh, this is my other wallet. Just let me off. You know, for a fact, the ultimate boss of Morrowind would be if this fucker got up and started walking again. That would be... Oh, they'd be unstoppable. Just the best gear foraged from every corner of, of Vardenfell. Ding dong. Let me in. Place would be so much less oppressive if you guys got a doorbell. Like a welcome mat. Big banner. Welcome to Red Mountain. Think of the tourism. Right, we want to go to Veminal, which is over all the way over the other side here. Oh, we can finally jump again. Not Bruntly re-empowered. <laughs> I really feel sorry for, um, for Dagothar's kind of informants. You know, all these spies. He's here, Dagothar. It's the Nereverine. He's finally come to fight you and dispel the heart of Lorcan. Everybody get on guard, and then he just picks up some loot and goes home. False alarm. Comes back again. Grabs, grabs some more loot. Steals some books. Goes back home. Poor Dagothar. Poor, da poor sweet misunderstood. Oh, shit. There you go, there. Right, go on then. Let's do it. Oh, God, it's all the way down the bloody mountain there. Wow, this thing does a lot more damage when it's repaired, huh? Who'd have thought? Come on. <laughs> Give me a second. I didn't bother going back for the cleaver, I'll be honest with you. I got a little bit, uh, got a little bit distracted there. Figured it probably wasn't worth it. Probably never going to use it. We're never even going to do the quest that's associated with it. Assuming there even is a quest. Right, let's heal up. How are you supposed to navigate this place without the ability to leap very far and fast and high? God, it seems like a ball like otherwise. Screw. There we are. And let's do a... Oh, it's a rat. <laughs> I thought we were just grabbed by a big fuck off tentacle or something. Right, okay. He's going for the jump. For the world record, not Bruntly. Oh, man, that was easy. Holy shit. Right, where is it? Apparently, it's right in front of us. Uh, those Dwemer were known for their stealthy structures. Ow. Ooh. Okay, got him. Right. Where is it? Somewhere. Up. Oh, is that it there? No, that's definitely not it. Uh. Well, it's definitely somewhere around here. Is that it? Is that it right ahead? Oh, there it is. God, this place is huge. There's so much of the island that's kind of cordoned off with this. With this ghost gate. Because they've lost so much land. Jesus. Oh, wasted opportunities. Do you know how much... Uh, do you know how many grapes you could grow on these volcanic hills? Poor Morrowind's economy must be in shambles. The Lalu grape trade has never quite been the same since the blight. Oh, hello. Speaking of the blight. All right, what have we got here? Skeletal corpse. Oh, come on. 
All right, Dumbo. Let's get this over with. You claw at me for a bit. I unfreeze. I stab you. And I go and kill your master. Thank you. Don't freeze me again. You've been warned. All right, what have we got in here? Scrap metal. Heavy drum and desk. It's probably not worth going through all this crap, is it? Just want to make sure we don't miss anything. Medium corpus meat. Dwarven. I just feel like that would be hilarious if they just genuinely had Sunder on like a bottom shelf in someone's bedroom. Back of a drawer. Oh, hello. Tree beard. What have we got in here? Still a lion door. Hello. Why me? Who stabs it? I know I can hold it and it will do more damage, but something about stacking the paralyzed just seems far more effective. Oops, I didn't mean to pick that up. Bollocks. Uh, you can have that back. Yeah. Tidying up for you. Don't leave spears on the floor. You have someone's eye out with that. In the words of Harold Godwinson. Right, okay. Uh, where are we looking? Uh, let's try back around here. Right, so we definitely tried this. I'm just killing all the dead ends, making sure I've got everything. There we are. And then down into what I assume is the tall boy's room. Nope. Tall boy's down in another room. Understandable. Have a great day. Tall boy machine broken. Special floor of Tamriel. The ruins of... The ruins of Camel Z. The potion of shadow actually might not be too bad. I don't think our sneak is really high enough. Ooh, Grandmaster's Alembic. Parchment with scrawlings. You wait. My first single is going to be that. Right, down we go. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Genuinely thought it was going to be another door that would open up, not a, not a teleport. All right, there we go. Thank you, Squidward. Very cool. It's in here. Oh, what lovely artwork. Hello. Do you know where Sunder is? Well, that is nice. I like the fact that while the world is ending, the sixth house, unmourned, decide to decorate. Pop down to Ikea for some red banners. For some blood red banners. Hi, do you have any of the, uh... Do you have any of the, uh, the Blight Will Consume the World banners left? They're in stock, unfortunately. They're out, they're out of stock, but I could, could order some in for you. Could be here in a few days. Oh, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Then you have to go to Tesco and buy the off-brand Blight Will Take Over the World banners. Watch out for the bloat. It's in the Tesco colors as well. Please don't sue me. Okay, uh, let's try this way. So this is obviously where uh, Dagoth Underground is. <laughs> Random skeleton at this point of the game. That's bed off the undying. Got a problem for you there, fella. Uh, oh, sorry. Beldo the undying. Brilliant. Hello. Have you seen Sunder? Oh, he's not very friendly, is he? Um, hang on. Let's try that again. Diplomatic. Hello. Ow, you bitch. I guess he's a creature then. Uh, calm creature. Calm humanoid. I mean, he's definitely humanoid. You can't deny that. Right, get out of here. I love you, Tiara. I assume that's Tiara, not just a horrible bone growth. Dagoth Venom. Oh, there it is. Sunder. Oh, amulet of half heal. Ash salts. Sixth house amulet. Uh, Sunder is blunt, I assume. God, does a lot more fucking damage, though, doesn't it? Dong. Bong. <laughs> we got here. Like an ashy mask. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. Right, well. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be, to be honest with you. Dong! Um, so, we have the hammer. Sunder. We have the stabby Keening. Now, Moon and Star, we can go and fight Dagoth Ur. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Oh, we've got to make sure we hit the enchantments in the right order, though, don't we? We have to do, like, Keening then, Sunder, I think. Ah, <laughs> uh, hang on. Um, enchantments, the enchantments. Right, tell me, tell me, tell me. Nope, useless. Uh, quests. Slips Awaken, sure. Next, next. Uh, oh, bollocks. Uh, okay, Prev, I don't know the order. Uh, hmm. Right, maybe they're in the plans. Oh, God, I didn't bring them with me. Dong. Wow. Ow. Dong. Shit. It's funny we trained in hammer. There's definitely no transferable skills between short blade, longsword, and hammer. Right, well, I might mess this up. Accidentally hit them in the wrong order and bring about the end times. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's Keening then Sunder. 
<laughs> oh, we're starved. Come on. <gasps> and he's st <laughs> starved to death. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, we're actually stuck. Oh my god, we're actually stuck. Have I got like an emergency teleport? For fuck's sake. <sighs> Lord Dagoth, he seems to have fled again. That trick in the reverie, what's he planning? <laughs> 